and welcome back to another video. We've got Middlesbrough at home today. Uh, a pretty big game for us, really. I feel like this, if we win today, well, I don't want to say it, but I also do. We could still reach the playoffs. It's not going to happen, let's be realistic. But, you know, there is a chance. We've got a big game, obviously, Watford next weekend, they're just above us. Uh, Blackburn just drew with uh, Huddersfield, as I'm recording, they just turned around a 2-0 uh, deficit to draw 2 all at the John Smith Stadium. So, you know, there, there's still a chance. It's, it's unlikely, it's highly unlikely, but who knows. I think uh, Naismith, Scott and Callas might be back in contention. I think I read that earlier today for the game this afternoon. But it's a half five kickoff. Can't, Notts County versus Wrexham at 3 o'clock in the National League is a massive, massive game. I'm going to the National League playoff final as well in, uh, in May at Wembley as well as the Women's FA Cup Finals. There'll be two videos for you that weekend on the 13th and 14th of May. Two really big games. But, uh, yeah, let's get down to the ground. Mimetti scoring on Good Friday, scoring a last minute winner or late winner, 85th minute, 86th minute, something like that, I think. So, yeah, let's get down to the ground. Hopefully, he can score again today. I think that, that goal ball on Friday will be a real confidence booster for him. But, yeah, let's get down to the ground. And fingers crossed, City pick up all three points. Come on, the boys. Right, Charlie, what's the score going to be today? 2-1 to City. Who's going to score, do you reckon? Akpom's going to put them 1-0 no up and then and then Sam Bell's going to score a brace. Oh, uh, Sam Bell, do you think he'll start, do you? Yep. Okay, can we get a come on you Reds? Come on you Reds. <laughs> Right then, uh, to all, 
We played brilliantly. We played really, really well. Um, it's just like, incredibly frustrating when you're 2 up with what half an hour to play. I think it was 58th minute they scored their first one. Um, I think Ram Ramsey actually had a decent game to be fair. He scored that one and he, I'm pretty sure he assisted the second. Uh, and then obviously they had, they had a third disallowed right at the death, which was uh, quite funny actually to be fair because all the City fans had noticed that the flag had gone up. Thorough went mental, like, because the flag went up before it hit the net. Like, it wasn't like it went in and then the flag went up, blah, blah, blah. So that was funny, but it's just like, played brilliantly, Cornick had a really, really good game to be fair, probably my man of the match, uh, which is nice for him to get kind of up and running for us, him and Mehmeti obviously in the last couple of days getting their first goals for the club, which is good, hopefully many more to come. Uh, Bell had a really good game as well, Conway looked alright when he came on, uh, Mehmeti got on the ball a bit, didn't really do much, kind of a couple of skill moves, kind of standard Mehmeti stuff really. Naismith was awful I thought actually when he came on, and I appreciate he's not played for like a good, what, month and a bit now, so you... You know, he's got to be a bit rusty, but there were a few, like, sort of dodgy touches, poor passes, just sl general snop sloppiness, I think, really, from him, which is a shame, but I'm sure he'll, he'll cut it back out as the weeks go on now that he's back fit. Hopefully Alex Scott will be back soon enough. Um, but, yeah, Watford on Saturday, they bottled a 2-0 lead as well today, uh, away at Coventry, I think it was. They were 2-0 up and drew 2 all. so who knows what's going to happen there. But I think if we had won today, we'd be on seven points outside the playoffs, so, it, you know, I don't want to say it, like I said earlier, but had we won today... I, I'd be looking at it a little bit, but we didn't hang on, so I think it leaves us eight or nine points outside the playoffs. I think it was nine in the end. Um, so Watford, if we're, if we're going to sort of try and keep this narrative that we're in a playoff push-up, then we need to win at Watford. But we'll see. Realistically, I'm happy with mid-table. I think any City fan would have taken mid-table at the start of the season and definitely around Christmas time when we, were in a, when we were in a relegation battle. So, yeah, we'll see what happens at Watford. I'll be there, as per usual. There might be a match preview out on Friday. I'm working. I'll see if I can get one done. Um, but if not, then I will see you on Saturday at Vicarage Road. A new ground for me as well, 27 out of the 92, I think. I'm going to take off a lot more uh, towards the end of this season and next season as well. So look out for that, and I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.